So, you may have heard that the RP2040 chip on the Raspberry Pi Pico has a built-in temperature sensor. If you haven't, I suppose you have now. In this video, we are going to cover how to use this sensor in your project. Now, the sensor works by measuring the voltage of a diode in the chip itself. So straight off the bat, we aren't really measuring the ambient room temperature, more like the temperature of the chip itself. Anyway, we take the voltage output of the diode, which is connected to the fifth channel of the analog to digital converter. We then convert the ADC value back into a voltage by multiplying it by this conversion factor. The temperature of the chip can then be approximated by using the following function, uh, following equation from the RP2040 datasheet. So, as a quick summary of the project before we get into it, we're going to initialize the ADC, then enable the temperature sensor and read data from it. We then perform some conversions to the raw ADC output, and then I'll print it to a serial monitor on my PC. It goes without saying that you can put this code wherever you want in your own project. Also, you can find the full source code of this project on my website, linked in the description. So, first we need to make sure that we include the libraries that we require in the cmakelists.txt file. These libraries are going to be the Pico standard libraries and the hardware ADC. If you need more information regarding starting your own projects, see the video I have linked in the cards above where I go through starting a new project in VS Code. We also enable the USB serial output, although this might not be required for your project. Now, let's move on to our C file. We include the following header files, stdio, pico standard libraries, and hardware ADC. As this is a very simple program, to simply demonstrate the functionality of the temperature sensor, we only have our main function. We first initialize the input outputs, or IO, so we can print the results over the serial interface, and we do this with the stdio init all function. Our next order of business is to set up the analog to digital converter. It might sound a little intimidating if you've never used an ADC before, but there are functions in the Pico SDK which makes this process incredibly straightforward. Firstly, we initialize the ADC with the ADC init function. Then we have to enable the temperature sensor using the function ADC set temp sensor enabled with the argument set to true. And our last setup step is to select the fifth channel of the ADC as the input. This is done with the ADC select input function, whose argument is 4. We use the input value as 4, as it's confusingly actually the fifth channel. So channel 1 is input 0, channel 2 is input 1, and so on. So now we need to create an infinite while loop so our program doesn't terminate. In this loop, our first task is to define a variable to store the raw output value from the ADC. We create an unsigned 16-bit integer, which is equal to the ADC read function. This function stores the raw value from the fifth ADC channel into this 16-bit integer. We then do the conversion logic specified here. We create a, fo a float with the const qualifier to tell the compiler that this variable will not change. On the other side of this equation, we divide the maximum ADC voltage input of 3.3 volts by a 12-bit value by shifting a 1 12 places. This is a fancy way of dividing by the max uh, value um, or the number of values of 4096 that the 12-bit integer can have. This value then gets multiplied with our raw output to give us the voltage of the diode. Next, we can use the equation that is provided in the RP2040 datasheet to convert this voltage to a temperature value. We then print over the USB serial interface using the printf command, and then we add a one second delay using the sleep ms function with 1000 milliseconds as its argument. Now that's the coding done. We can now build this project and upload it to the Pico. You should now open your serial monitor of choice and point it to the COM port to which your Pico is connected. The board rate will be 115,200 and you should see a temperature output that now goes up and down when you change the, t uh, the chip temperature. In case you are wondering, no, I don't live in a fridge, 
The temperature sensor isn't really calibrated at all, and my values appear to be uh, exactly 10 degrees lower than my room temperature almost across the board. I would expect there to be a wide range of differences across different picos due to manufacturing inconsistencies, and the data, uh, the data sheet of the RP2040 does in fact say that calibration will be required. So if you were going to use this in a serious project that required an accurate value of, um, of the temperature, I would highly recommend that you use an external sensor like one of the BMPs from Bosch Sensor Tech. I will have a video about using one of these sensors with the Pico out shortly. Make sure you are subscribed if you are interested in that. Thank you for watching. If this video has helped you, then please consider liking the video and leaving any questions or feedback in the comments.